Hey guys, so today I'm going to go over how to break down a brand new lake to find fish. The question I get a lot of is when I hit a lake, how do I find the fish? So today I'm just going to pick a lake that I haven't fished uh, for in a while and I'll just go through it. And at the end of this, what you'll learn is how to break down the lake, go to certain areas so that you can find the fish and increase your odds of catching fish. Today I'm going to pick uh, Lake LBJ. Let's go there right now, uh, take a look at it. Lake LBJ is part of the uh, LCRA river system. Every lake has the original river system that was there. When you're coming up to a new lake like this, I was faced with this problem where you look at this lake and it's very overwhelming. Look how big this is. Where do you start? Where do you fish? And how do you find them? First tool I'm going to show you how to use is Navionics. Uh, you can get on Navionics.com um, and then just go to Chart Viewer and it does a great job of uh, showing this lake. So what you'll see here, the riverbed is the deep um, the deepest part and this is where the original river is right here I'm just following around with a mouse up here in the river you'll see it's only 25 26 feet deep and when you go down closer to the dam it's closer to 60 feet and then of course right at the dam is gonna be much deeper the question is how do you break this down and, and how do you get to the areas to, so you can look for fish if you're gonna go look for white bass the first thing to think about is this riverbed is the super highway of travel and and that's where a lot of bait that's where a lot of fish are going to travel because baits there fish is going to travel there so today i'll just focus on two key areas i'm looking typically for the lcra lakes in in the winter time i'm looking for 50 feet of water or so so what you'll see i'm zooming in and you'll see a riverbed that runs along about 50 feet deep here. And then I'm looking for points. So this is a point coming off of here that drops off into the riverbed with another creek that comes into here. And this is a, looks like a really good area. And then here's another on this side, there's a funnel that also is another point. So you're funneling fish right in here. They're traveling down this path. They're going up the creeks to spawn. And that's what they're looking for. They're going up to spawn. And so this time of year, they're just staging here in this, in this deep water and, and feeding up on these points. That's where the bait fish are gonna be. When you see the bait fish, that's how you validate what you're knowing, uh, what you're doing here. And then uh, go around another bend here, around this bend, there's another, uh, looks like another really good long point here. Comes off of a, a long point with a, with a creek bed that runs along here. So that's another intersection point that I'll be looking into. Let's go over to Google Maps and I'll show you how I, I drop those points in. So I just uh, imported this map into here. So I'm dropping in a waypoint. So let's call this LBJ1. So what I would do is I would come in here and uh, look there, look here. Let's call this LBJ2. So the path I would run is I would come to this point get into 50 feet of water and just run along here and come up to this point and the whole time looking at your um, fish finder to look for bait and I just do this S pattern and this was taught to me by Bob Mandel of um, holding the line uh, fishing guide so I would just run this path and just continue it until you find some fish and that's how you're gonna find them you might find them in 50 feet of water you might find them in 30 feet of water, but as long as you're finding balls of bait, um, that's, a, that's a real big plus. That's validating what you see here. And so um, this is where I spend a lot of my time is doing these S patterns, looking for bait, looking for fish underneath the bait. And once you find them, spot lock under that spot, turn on your thumper, and uh, you can bring in the bass and then uh, use your different techniques to, uh, to catch them. Same thing with this LBJ2 is I would just sit here and go up and down, run S patterns up and down these, this point, back into the creek channel, and you're gonna find whether the fish are there or not. If they're there, stop and fish. If they're not there, move on. This file will be on my Facebook page, Skunked Again, and you can download it and import it into your Lowrance, Hummingbird, or Garmin units so that you can just go out and just follow these paths and, uh, and look for them yourself.
So if they're not in 50 feet of water, you can go up this creek bed. As you can see, it gets shallower and shallower. And so if they're relating to shallower water, you, you don't find them in 50 feet of water, you can come up here to this point and do your S pattern here. So I'll drop another point here. So let's call this LBJ3. And just go up and down this again, uh, do your S pattern here and see if you can find them in 30 feet of water. If you can't find them there, then go shallower. So you're just going back and forth between these points uh, in this area. And you can stay in one area for a long time and, and look for fish. But typically what they'll do is they'll stage in these deep points here and they'll move up and down to these shallow water creeks. Once you find them, you can stop and fish them and have a lot of success. Okay, let's look at the, let's look at the second area we're talking about. So this one is gonna be shallower than, origin, than the area one because you're going up away from the dam. What you're looking for are creek intersections, bends in the river, or points or humps. Look at this area right here. Let's zoom in here. So you got your 50 feet of riverbed, runs along here. You got a creek that splits off and a nice long point. This to me is a really exciting place. So let's drop a waypoint there, uh, LBJ. Start here and just run up and down. Do your S pattern up and down this, this point right here. And just watch your, uh, your fish finder the whole time. So as you run this pattern, you can run tighter ones. Uh, and so you'll see, you'll see if there's bait there or not. If they're not there, then go to this side and look up here. If they're not in the deep water, then move up the creek to shallower water and, and look at these these little drop-offs here. This one right here is a good little uh, hump to go look at. And again, go do your S patterns here. Run up and down this hump. Maybe go over it and you'll see, you're gonna find the fish. So that's, uh, that's a method I use to, uh, to take a lake that looks very overwhelming when you look at it from the top view. There's thousands of acres. So before you take a trip, go in here and take a look at your map, drop some waypoints, and when you get on the water, you know where to go to look for them. You know that you can start here, go up the river. If you don't find any there, go further up river or go down the river to find deeper water. And uh, if you start seeing bait, bait at 30, 40 feet, that's probably where they're gonna be for that day or that week. Well, here's another one right here. Look at this. This meets a criteria. You've got a creek that comes off of here with a, with a long point and some humps that come in here. So let's drop another point right here, right? here to this little point, I call that LBJ7, I don't know what number I'm on. And again, do your S patterns here. So if you've gone out here, you, you can spend an hour or so doing your S patterns here, S patterns there, S patterns here, S patterns there. Now, that'll take you about an hour, but it'll be an hour well spent because it, you'll get to learn what this lake looks like. And you have a lot more confidence knowing what this is instead of this big blank slate of water until you overlay a map into this area and drop some waypoints. Then you can come out and hit your waypoints and focus on those areas. And you've done your homework, you, you would have gone up here and done some shallower water maps and deeper water maps so that you can have places to go and check out instead of just driving around aimlessly. And using your electronics is gonna be key. And uh, I will have this, um, this GPX file for you to download so that you don't have to do uh, any more work than this. You can go out tomorrow and start fishing these areas and do what I'm talking about. So there you go. The keys is to use Navionics and look at your lake, break it down into where they bend, where they intersect creeks, where there are points, where there are humps, and look in those areas. Hope that helps you. If it does, give me a thumbs up Skunked again, hopefully not today.